Welcome to the Motion Tag series. In this series of short clips, we'll introduce you to all the tags associated with Motion Layout. In this episode, we're going to talk about Key Cycle. Key Cycle is a powerful tool for when you want to make some visually stunning complex behaviors. All these animations use one or more key cycles. As we're finishing the video, come back and see if you can guess how these were made. Similar to key position, we must define the target and the position, and they are defined similarly. In fact, the majority of the attributes are identical to key attribute. Uh, in this case, we just cause that value to oscillate. But there are five attributes that define the cycle. The wave type, frame position, wave period, wave offset, and the value that the, va that the wave is going to manipulate. Typically, you use three or more key cycles to define the waveform. In this case, we have created a sine wave with six waves and is manipulating the rotation with an amplitude of 360. For the wave type, we can choose from seven possible values. The wave modulates the amplitude of the waveform. Wave period affects the wavelength, but also the values are norm normalized so that you can pick a value of two and it adds two cycles, making it very easy to know how many oscillations you will get. Simply count the number of periods. The position of the keyframe sets the center of the oscillations. And the wave offset shows you how to adjust the wave upward or downward. Changing all these parameters, you can create a wide variety of patterns. And these patterns can be applied to any floating point parameter. To help with designing cycles, we have built the Cycle Editor, a standalone tool to help with the design of key cycles. We made the Cycle Editor publicly available. Link is in the description. You can combine key cycles to produce complex effects. Here, we have a bounce of translate Y and a sawtooth of rotation to produce a rolling box effect. On a real device, we can see the animation can be very precise. In this example, we simulate a spring bounce. It required four key cycles to smoothly transition. And you can see it in the motion editor behind. In this case, we have nine rotated copies of the star field that are scaled using a key cycle of type sawtooth, and then each animation is then staggered. We only have a few motion tags left in this series. Up next, we're going to discuss key time cycle. See you in the next one.